Hey y'all, welcome into my kitchen. Come on in and have a seat at my table. When you get in your chair, hit share because sharing is caring. When you get an opportunity, go to my YouTube channel, Little Trace Kitchen, like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification button so you'll know when I have uploaded new videos. I don't always have videos from my live sessions. Sometimes I, I upload new videos. So make sure you're subscribed and that you're clicking on the notification button. Today, we're, we're making lamb chops. Yay! We're gonna have cream spinach and red skinned mashed potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and get started because we're trying to cram everything in. Well, not cram, but it'll be on time. So in my pot, I've already started um, with some boiling water and I've um, quartered my red potatoes and I've gone ahead and um, got them going. And this is salted boiling water. Um, and I have started sauteing some of my spinach. I know it seems like a lot, but I promise you by the time we're all done, you know, spinach cooks down to nothing. So here are my lamb chops. Um, I started with a little compound butter. Inside my compound butter, I have garlic paste, rosemary, salt, pepper, and some oregano. And that's what we're gonna use to season, to really season our lamb chops. So I got my skillet on my, my, my trusty cast iron griddle, my cast iron grill. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and use that to um, get our lamb chops seared and cooked. So let's get started with these lamb chops, okay? So I, in the, in the um, griddle, I've already um, put a little oil in here. I've already also um, wiped off or rinsed off my my lamb chops, yes, I do. I rinse my meat. And the reason why is because when they cut the meat, it leaves that um, bone grit on there, and I don't like that. So I always rinse off my meat. And besides, you don't know where those people's hands or machines is being. Rinse your meat, people, rinse your meat. So we're just gonna go ahead and start putting down our lamb chops. Do you hear that? Nice and hot. It's all ready to get into chalk. We're gonna, um, gonna try to put six in here. And I think I got it in comfortably. You don't want to move your pan at all. You don't want to move the meat in the pan. Um, unlike chicken, it won't tell you when it's, when it's ready. We're gonna do this for about three. We're gonna do it for like three to four minutes aside. Um, we like our lamb chops on a medium um, medium um, scale, not rare, but we like them on medium because we still like the juice and the flavor of the meat. So while this is cooking up, I'm gonna check my potatoes. Your potatoes should be fork tender. And look at there, we're almost at fork tender. I quartered these potatoes because I wanted to make sure that they were um, cooking evenly. We're gonna let them cook just a little while longer. We're almost there. Um, and while that is going and our steak and our lamb chops are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and finish up our cream spinach. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add some um, chopped onion. Now, this is probably about a half an onion that I chopped up. Now, um, spinach wilts down to absolutely nothing. This is probably a half of the, half of the package that... Um, so far that I started, this is like maybe half, and you can see it's, it's wilting down to absolutely nothing. I'm gonna put in the um, other half in just a second. Just give me a few moments. Um, at this stage, before you um, start adding more um, spinach, you can start, you can go ahead and season this. Put a little salt and some pepper. You don't wanna get too crazy because we're gonna add some cream cheese and some Parmesan cheese to it. So it, it'll liven up the flavor just a little bit. So um, let's go ahead and, and I know, I tell you guys all the time, my family, we like pepper in our stuff. So, but I'm not gonna go crazy because I want, I don't want it to be brown or black. I want it to be um, just seasoned so they can add some more um, pepper if they like at a later, later point. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stirred up. I know it looks like a lot of onion. Don't worry about it, we like onions too. But we're gonna go ahead and also, go ahead and start adding in more spinach. 
so that we can cook the spinach down. See, I told you I've already cooked up like half of this. And so it takes absolutely no time to make this. So as this, as our um, lamb chops are cooking, our um, potatoes are boiling, I'm just gonna start stirring this in. Y'all see the spinach, it don't wanna stay in the skillet. It's trying to get out of the pot, out of the pan. Cause it's hot up in here. And just gently stir this around, getting the spinach wilted. Cause all you wanna do is wilt it just a little bit. And then you can add the next batch of spinach. I didn't like that leaf. That didn't look appetizing to me, so we're gonna take it out. And again, our lamb chops are gonna cook maybe three, four minutes per side. And y'all know how I feel about the um, stove top being dirty while I'm cooking, so we're gonna multitask. So let's keep stirring the spinach. I'm beginning to smell our lamb chops. They're smelling really good. Once we get them, um, once we get them cooked on this side, we're gonna add that compound butter to it. And um, so the com compound butter will um, start to season up even more of the lamb chop. Y'all see this? Now, listen, I had to grow into liking cream spinach. I don't like raw spinach unless it's in a smoothie, but I had to grow into liking um, fresh spinach like this. Now you can use frozen spinach if you don't have fresh spinach, um, but make sure you uh, squeeze out that water when it's frozen, it has all that water in it. But I had to come to like, um, <laughs> I had to come to like fresh spinach because growing up, all we had, I don't know about you guys, but growing up, all we had was um, uh, canned spinach. And that was like my favorite. Like y'all remember Popeye opening the can of spinach? I used to love that all the time. And so that was always my go-to meal because I could buy a whole can of spinach and, um, and eat it for like a little nothing. You guys see how that's wilted down? That's, that's pretty much how this works. While this is cooking just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and um, attempt to turn our our um, lamb chops. I don't like the way that's looking. We're gonna turn it up just a little bit. And it could very well be because it's on the outside, but I do like the marks. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Look at these nice little marks. You guys gotta get you some, get you one of these um, griddle, grill pans. Look at this. You can fool the world and have them thinking that you really grilled something. Look y'all, look how simple and easy that was. Uh-oh, he ain't gonna turn. There you go, look at those grill marks. That is heaven in a skillet. Now, while this is going, I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping in, dropping on some of this comp compound butter. And again, this is just softened butter with some garlic, rosemary, and oregano. That's all this is. Just topping it with a little bit of it and it's going to melt and seep down. Uh-oh. It's gonna melt and seep down into it. There we go. Gonna let that continue to cook up. Woo, y'all. If you guys can smell the butter and the garlic on this thing. I'm gonna add the rest of our spinach. I have a family of four. So I'm using this whole container. Y'all see my container? Um, just I'm going to end up cooking with this whole container of spinach. And that's okay because we'll eat cream spinach later. Throughout the, throughout the day, we'll have a little bit for leftovers. And it's all awesome. So there we go. Cream spinach is gone. I mean, or the fresh spinach is gone. And it's really easy to go through that spinach. And what we're gonna end up doing with this spinach is we're gonna add some cream cheese and then some Parmesan cheese and then just a little bit of heavy cream while that's going. Oh my goodness. Did I, I, I've told you guys the best way to fool somebody into thinking you know what you're doing when you're cooking, put some garlic and onions in, in some butter and just leave it just like that. 
people will think that you are in here creating a masterpiece. It is so phenomenal. Okay, I believe my potatoes are done. Let me just test. Yep, look, I can't get it out, but they're just sticking and they're just coming straight out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain my potatoes. Give me two seconds. Y'all keep an eye on my, on my laptop. Okay, and just like that, we're, we're back. I'm gonna, I like to leave my potatoes in my skillet that I, in my pot that I start my um, potatoes in, that I boil my potatoes in, because I kinda want the, the residual heat to dry out some of the water. Now, listen, I'm a country girl, city roots, right? I mean, it's pretty girl, country roots. I'm gonna add some butter, and it's going to be some butter. So don't panic, we like butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like half a stick of butter. You don't have to do that, that's just what I like, that's what my family likes. So I'm adding what we like. You add what y'all like. And don't y'all worry about them lamb chops, I got my eye on, got my eye on them too. Now I'm just gonna simply take my fork I'm going to turn this off for right now until I can um, come back to it. And then I'm just going to take my fork and start mashing up my potatoes just like this. I leave the skin on my potatoes when they're red potatoes because I like the way it looks. Now, I'm going to say this. Don't go crazy on the mashing. Don't go crazy on the mashing. Um because I, you need to see some chunks. Uh-oh, potatoes getting out of the pot and stuff. You need to see some chunks in it, just like that. See, came together really quick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and also add some pepper to it. Yes, we like pepper, so it's gonna be a lot of pepper in here. And so far we've just added butter and pepper, and I'm not adding any additional salt until I taste it because my water was salty. So I'm just gonna stir this up some more. Okay, I might have been heavy-handed with the pepper, but that's okay. We're going to eat these potatoes just like this. And if push comes to shove, I can add more potatoes. I can always boil more potatoes. But we're okay because we like it. Now, inside my um, potatoes, I'm going to add like a half a container of sour cream. That's going to keep them nice and smooth. Now, if you don't have sour cream, you can use heavy cream. Heavy whipping cream in this too. I can already tell you, it looks like I'm gonna add some salt to it. Because, I don't know, it looks kinda like it's salty. Like it needs some salt. And we'll taste it. And look, our potatoes are actually done. I'm gonna taste these potatoes, give me two seconds. I'm gonna taste them up really fast and make sure they're how we want. Never over stir your potatoes. No more salt. And our potatoes are done. Just like that. Potatoes are done. Let's take a look at our lamb chops. Look at this, y'all. Y'all see how the herbs is actually settled in on our lamb chops? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. Um, to give it two seconds. Let's go ahead and pull these and we're gonna add um add some more. What? No, nope. we're gonna hold off some more. I don't like the way the ends look. Hold on. We're gonna wait a little while longer. So while we're waiting, let's turn them clockwise. Let's see if we can get some hash marks on there. And all you have to do is turn it just a little bit to the side. There you go. Let's see if we can get some hash marks on there. Let's go back to our clean spinach. So, our spinach has been going. Just like that. And now we're at the point with our spinach. And I know you still see some nice green, I like that. So we're gonna add some um, cream cheese in it. 
This is just an eight ounce block. I'm gonna put about four ounces of that cream cheese in there. And all you do is just make sure that when you're when you buy your cream cheese that you soften it before you add it to your um, before you add it to your spinach. Helps it to melt just a little bit. So. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get this. And we're going to, I'm not a huge fan of cream cheese, but I know in order to make my cream spinach right, that I need a little bit. And by the time I finish adding my Parmesan cheese, I'm not really going to taste the cream cheese. I'm hoping and praying. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're not. But if you like cream cheese, go ahead and add some more. Let's just get this stirred up. You see how it's coming together, how it's beginning to melt. I am gonna add just a little bit more cream cheese in it, and then I'm gonna add some whipping cream, and then some Parmesan cheese, and then we'll taste it, and then all we have to do is wait for our lamb chops. Yeah, let's add a little bit more cream cheese. So we've gone from four ounces to maybe like six now, because we had an eight ounce block. And you know what else you could do with this? Let's say you have some leftovers. You can add some more cream cheese, add some sour cream, add some um, add some artichokes, chopped up artichokes, and make a spinach dip. OMG, the beginnings of spinach dip too. Add some um, more herbs and things to it. You have your nice little spinach dip all at the same time. I don't know. We might have to. We might have to work that out. What y'all think? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start in with our Parmesan cheese. Let me add a touch of our cream. Just a touch, maybe a tablespoon or so. Get that in there, and I just add that for the richness. And then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese a little at a time so that it starts to melt, so that it melts really well. Just a little bit, sprinkle it on over in there. And then we'll taste it and make sure that it tastes the way we want it to taste. Adjust it by adding a little um, salt and pepper. And what I also like to do is I also, my hidden secret in a lot of things that comes with cream is I like to add a touch of nutmeg. I know, I know, it's just crazy. When you add a touch of nutmeg, sometimes you wonder what that hidden behind the behind the scenes note is, and it's just simple. It's just nutmeg, and people don't realize that we've added the nutmeg, and that's what makes it a, a major difference. We're gonna let that sit and simmer for a second, get some of that cheese melted, and now I'm gonna... Oh. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese because it looks like that is gone. So we're gonna add just a touch more cheese, another couple of handfuls or so, stir that around and then we'll let it simmer because I felt it in my spirit. Or as Willie Moore, Willie Moe Jr. says, I felt it in my son, I know. <laughs> but it wasn't enough cheese in there. And I just use shredded um, shaved Parmesan cheese. If you have shredded, that's fine. But don't use that powdery stuff, okay? That's not that's not gonna be good. So try to try to do it yourself, or um, have it shaved already. So now let's go ahead and start to pull our lamb chops because I do believe that they are ready now. So we'll start pulling them. Look at this, pulling them right on off, and we'll get the next set on. Now again. My family, we like our lamb chops on a medium and not um, well done. That's just how we like our, we like our steaks that way. We like our um, lamb chops that way. And to me, lamb chops are similar to um, steaks. So let's get our last ones in there. Let's go for it. Try not to put this over my finish. I'm gonna wash up my hands. Oh, 
All right. Now that I got my hands washed up and our spinach is almost ready, I'm gonna taste this without adding the nutmeg. And then I'm gonna see if we are going to need to add the touch of nutmeg. I believe we are, so let's just see. Let's just see if we need it. I say yes, but we also may need to add a little bit more pepper, maybe a touch more salt. But the Parmesan cheese is also tons of salt. It's kind of salty too, so let's go into our cream sink. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could taste this. Try this, guys, oh my God. I almost double dipped, it was so good. Listen, this is good. I'm not even gonna add, I am gonna add it, because why? I, I want to, and it's gonna give it just a hidden taste. Now listen, I don't do already grated Parmesan, I mean nutmeg. I use whole nutmeg and then I grate it into my um, stuff using my microplane. There's something about fresh that you um, can't get anywhere else. And listen, I got bits and pieces of nutmeg where I've already started using. Nutmeg lasts a long time. If you guys could smell this, I bought some nutmeg back from Jamaica one time and I'm I'm still using this nutmeg that I bought from Jamaica. I think it's been like, I have no clue. It's, it's gotta be at least seven years ago that I bought this nutmeg. So I'm just gonna grate just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way when it comes to um, nutmeg. And that seems about good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stir it up. <laughs> Y'all know I'm gonna taste it again, cause what? Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It's so rich, so creamy, and it's full of flavor. Now, if you're not using a big old um, container of um, a, a spinach like I did, and I don't remember how many ounces that is, it was about a pound of, of um, spinach, fresh spinach, it was about a pound of fresh spinach. So if you're not using a pound of fresh spinach then, um, and you're only using maybe like eight ounces, then cut that in half. We used about six ounces of cream cheese. So cut that back and only use um, three ounces of cream cheese. But let's go in after we've added our um, nutmeg and let's try this again. You can't get this at no steakhouse. house. Well, you can get cream spinach, but it ain't gonna be this cream spinach. This cream spinach is on point. After adding the nutmeg, there is such a warm undertone to it that you can't get um, anywhere else. So, I've turned off the eye, and I'm gonna just put our lid back on it and just let it sit there. I'm gonna do the same with our potatoes. I'm gonna put the lid on. We're just gonna put our lid on our potatoes and, and let it let it rest. Now all we actually we're really done. All I'm doing is cooking the rest of these um, lamb chops for my family, and it's gonna be the same process that I've already shown you. We're gonna go ahead and let these cook on on this one side three four minutes for medium um, per side three four minutes per side for medium, go a little longer to have it at the um, desired doneness that you want. So if you're like, if you're looking like Trey, there's no way in the world that I'm gonna be doing medium anything, then let it cook a little longer, maybe five or six minutes per side. But I'm telling you, in doing that, you're overcooking your, your, um, you're overcooking your lamb chop and you're messing up the flavor, the natural flavor of your, of your lamb chop. But that's what you really want to taste. So you know what? We're going to plate while these are cooking. I'm going to flip them over really fast. See where we are. Boom! Look at that, y'all. Yes! For the cast iron skillet. Y'all see it? 
skip yes for the cast iron skillet. That nice crunch on, on the on the outside is going to be perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter like I did before. Cut the butter just like that. And this is probably not even a teaspoon. This is probably like a quarter of a teaspoon that I'm adding to the top of each one of these. Oh. This is the best. Okay. Give me a second. We're going to plate this up. We're going to plate some, plate some of it up for you so you can see it. Okay? One second. Grab my plate. Grab my plate. Put some of those potatoes. Put some of these potatoes on a plate. Mm -hmm. Y'all missed it. My son has already said he was hungry. So, my, my youngest son. So, he is actually our videographer for today. The baby said he was hungry. And lamb chops is one of his favorites. So we're gonna get some of this same spinach. Being careful on the plate. So I'm actually fixing him a plate because the baby said he's hungry. So we're gonna feed him. We're gonna, well, I was gonna say we're gonna let him taste it. But he's not ready for that. We're not ready to be a taster today. They'll have to taste it later. Um, off camera. And now we're going to grab whatever you're making, steak or even your um, lamb chop. You do want it to allow it to rest for a little while. Um, at least 10 minutes or so you want it to rest because that allows the juices in the lamb chop to, um, to resettle or redistribute back into the meat and so that you're not filling all your juice. On your plate. Look at this guy. Looky, looky. We're gonna get this plate looking nice and pretty. Now, who wouldn't want to eat that? I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter so it can start melting. And it's okay if the butter gets in your potatoes because this butter is on point. There we go. Take that back just a little bit. I'm going to clean this plate up just a little bit. And here we go. Lamb chops, red skin mashed potatoes, and cream spinach. Thank you guys so much for... Oh, wait. <laughs> I almost got fancy. I almost got fancy and then taste it. My son, bless his heart. You can see the smile or the grimace on his face. We're going to... I'm going to go in. And let's see how well we cook this lamb chop right here. Oh, it's a little overdone. It's a little overdone, but we're going to eat it anyway. How about that? Mm. Oh my goodness. This is good. I love the flavor of the rosemary with the, with the, with the lamb chop. This same compound butter, you don't have to put it on lamb chop. You can put it on chicken or a pork chop or whatever, you can actually get a turkey breast, Mat matter it in this compound butter, bake it in the oven for a while until it's done. This is so on point, y'all. Let me thank you so much for allowing me to come before you today and cook. Hope you have tried this. If you do, tag me, let me see it. Hmm, I want some more. Let me see it. And then until then, make sure you go to my Facebook page, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button. Thank you so much. Until next time, I love you all. Big hugs and tight squeeze.